Hello, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman. We're continuing to explore the private quarters in the Dwarven Castle of Ferrofist uh, in Canestia, the dimension of Canestia. Um, just, uh, just so you know, uh, I am encoding the last session, and it might chop just a tiny bit. I'm hoping it doesn't chop too much. If it does, I may start over. Um, there's some chop. But uh, the main thing, the first thing I realized is when I was uh, looking east and west here and detecting these odds and somethings, I previously estimated the northern edge of this um, region to be here. And now that I'm actually at the northern edge, I realize it's one further north than I thought it was, which means these things are all just shifted up one. And this something is actually just here and of course this trap is here which um, simplifies things a good deal uh, the, 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 um, the something markers or the odd markers I already knew about satisfy everything I could see in fact everything I could detect was already accounted for so for now, I'm going to assume there are not any more, because, I don't know, Occam's Razor, I guess? It's also just easier to add more things later. Uh, so, heading to the east, um, we're in this room. There's a door to the north, I think I already knew that, but... Uh, I am on the wrong kind of edge. Okay, nothing in here. How about in that very northeast corner room? Oh, a fight. A fight with things that I will kill off camera. And a minstrel's glove that is junk, because I only have one bard who can only wear one glove. I suppose this is a ancient fantasy forerunner to Michael Jackson. Actually, this might have been... When did... Uh, when did he do the one glove thing? I feel like that was for bad. This might have been like the same year. That might have been intentional? No, I don't think so. I think it's just an awkward naming for an item, but... It would have been right around the same time. And more stuff to kill off screen. As you can see, of course, Grisnock ended up at the back of the party. Uh, she got pretty much destroyed. Uh, I let her enter that combat with 260 health or something like that. We did a full heal to the party the first turn. But, um, you know, someone hit her for 250 and someone else hit her for 290 before the spell went off. Anyway, the chop from the audio is, uh, probably, um, unreasonably bad. Yeah, I just, by the way, confirmed the odds were not in this segment by looking with my sorcerer's sight. Uh, so I guess I can go ahead and cancel this trap that I know where it is. And... I guess... Oh, like, moved the wrong... thing in the wrong program. Anyway, I just wanted to map all that, but... Walking to here... Oh, listen to that terrible audio. Okay, so... This is another spot where we have spell point drain and something else. I think it may be spell point drain and spell point regen. Let me test this theory. I'm going to run this thing at high speed at 265. What's the next? Oh, 
Nothing? No change? 268. Okay, I'm wrong. my theory is wrong. But it's a something that's not hit point drain and not spell point regen. And I just don't know what it is. Okay, I'm going to continue recording this when I have more CPU to spare. Okay, I think... I thought... I think it will stabilize. So, um... Okay, we are stabilized. Hooray! Um... I'm gonna go back down and explore more of this space that I skipped. And, obviously, I didn't really notice this before, but this is definitely not a magic drain thing. It is a hit point drain, and I already knew that hit point drain shows up as something, so there's no mystery anymore. Okay, uh, I see a door on the left and right and left. And I just stepped into something and an odd. So, uh, I guess that means Sorcerer's Sight is turned off. And based on whatever's happening, yeah, more hit point drain. I'm gonna run Cast Second Sight, which is the short lived version of Sorcerer's Sight. This is enough enemies, I'm gonna fight them. See when they're dead. Mm, nothing from that fight, but experience. I guess the main value of experience at this point is um, hit points. the south, we can detect a spinner. I don't remember being able to detect a spinner before, but... There's a spinner one of these places. From here, we can detect silence. Which I already knew about. and uh, something which I already knew about. Okay. Oh, and there's an odd to the north. And it can't be he here, because I would have detected it, and when I turned around, I would, this wouldn't have worked. So it must be here. Let us continue onward to the south. So the spinner is not here. Uh, but I will start putting down things I can see. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's turn to the east. Ooh, I can sense a trap. This way. I don't know where it is. I think it's down in here, but... And nothing... nothing in this direction. I do get the feeling like there should be some mechanic where I can trade in items I don't need for something. Those sorts of things sort of cropping up into JRPGs like a decade later or so. Maybe a little earlier than that. But certainly not in Western RPGs in the mid-80s. Okay, so our spinner was at the intersection. Of course it was. 
to maximally confuse people. And to the west, we have our silence and our special. The special, I'm assuming, is just the passageway out, but let's go find out. There's the silence. Oh, I just freaking overrode it. Oh, it's the entry message. I found the description of the... Oh, you things. So, we've now been possessed. And I will show you the very difficult process we have to go through to dispossess. Which you may have seen already, but it is dispossess. On number one. Done. I don't know why I need a special item for that. Okay, so here we are on the message square, and here is a description of this area. Wisps of smoke and the sounds of battle echo throughout the halls of Ferrofist's private lodging wing. You see the grim reminders of war all over, most notably dying dwarves and their mechanistic foes. Okay, we've got a Battle in progress and corpses everywhere. It's strange that I didn't notice this until now. Uh, I'm gonna type it up. Uh, with the. Okay, so apparently we're stepping all around corpses wherever we go. Uh, to the west, we can see a spinner and a something. I guess I already know about that. Uh, so this is the passage. That's the special thing over here. I'm surprised that this note didn't get any sort of uh, detection on the sorcerer site. Oh, and to the north, we can detect an odd. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. But I can put it down. I can't detect north from here because message overrides it. From here, I can... Okay, I already knew about that odd. From here, we cannot detect the trap. We, we Oh, we can detect this, the silence and the spinner. Okay, so nothing new. I guess I'll go ahead and use my bard song. Facing south here, I don't think we could detect anything. I'll check again after killing all of these. Okay, post combat, still can't detect anything. And that trap was here, not further south. So I think what I've got left to explore of this level are, well, there's a little bit of hallway here, these two segments, and then this stuff up here. I'm going to do the middle first. Two by two room. I got out without a fight. I thought that'd be a fight by the door. I'll be back. Hmm, a thieves dart. I think I'm just gonna drop that one right away. It seems to be a one shot group attack. I thought it was a crit, but then when I tried it again, it it uh it wasn't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, maybe I, maybe a bad memory. Okay, so, um, using some gems. Elendor is starting to run low on gems in inventory. I guess I can maybe toss her some more. Who has them stuck in the way? My paladin has some. I think my rogue does too. Oh, not anymore. I guess I've been cleaning them out. 
Okay. Let's just explore this room. Okay, those things dead. I guess I forgot to scout to the south. Nothing there, though. Now I'm definitely in a spell point drain. Okay, I should be a little quicker on the uptake and not try to confirm, but... So from the far west, I can take the spinner to the west. Okay, know about that one. I've already been to the locations to the south, so I guess it's no surprise I can't detect anything new. Okay, I can see this the quiet I already know about to the south. Let's do some more getting our magic points drained. I am not interested in another fight right now. I'm kind of a little annoyed in the sense I want to finish mapping this area and move on. There were internal walls here. And another spell point drain. And I'm going to just sit here to see what happens if I don't move. 55 spell points, 59. So this is... Yeah, okay, so here we finally have our square that um, is both spell point drain and spell point refill at the same time. And as it turns out, based on the way the game is coded, if I stand in this and don't move, it refills my spell points. But if I turn or move, it drains my spell points. I don't know. That is some that is some creepy magic. Uh I'm going to run from you. Around the corner. So updating my position. I can sense the spinner to the north. That is very exciting. And now we can go into this uh, little room. I'm assuming there's nothing in here, but let's find out. Yep, nothing here. Okay, so... Uh... Either way I go, I'm going to have my spell points... Oh, no, no, I can go around, right. In here, and then... Oh, well, I actually didn't need to go that far south, but that's what I did. Uh, east and north. There'd probably be more fights this way. If... Uh, I was exploring it for the first time, but I think the the fixed fights don't replenish if you stay on the level. So to update my location, I'm actually here. Oh, there's a door on the west, so... Oh, also pit point drain... here. A single alpha scrambler. That is not worth my time.
11 silver droids. Uh, those will hurt, but I will fight them. So, refilling my spell points on Griselda. The neighbor's dog is freaking out. Because another dog exists in the apartment building. Oh my god, how could that possibly be allowed to exist? Oh my god. Anyway, sorry, I really don't like dogs. Um, I stepped on an explosion. I guess I'm gonna... I don't know how to... I guess I'm gonna let the odd marker stay. And put explosion here. And... Recast Second Sight. That is not enough enemies for me to bother with. Let's just go on through this door. An explosion. Somehow I expect it's gonna all be explosions. Explosion. Explosion. That was not worth it. Not, not worth. I don't know what I'm doing in the game. I was meaning to uh, mark these explosion. And then mark them explored. Okay, this is what we got left. Uh, this... I'm gonna go south first. Why not? Explosion! Explosion! Explosion. Okay. Uh, that was sort of efficient in a way. I can just go ahead and heal now. I don't know if there's an odd in the middle, but I'm not going to worry about it for the moment. There is. I guess I... I, I uh... My worry was to be ended... quickly. gotten here. Nothing? I, mean, I guess we already got a key. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! Uh, what marker? Where's the, where's that, like, NPC marker? Not an evil, not an evil monster. This one. A small band of dwarves looks up and growls menacingly, but an older dwarf seated in the middle of their protective circle, commands them to silence. His armor, once a masterwork by a dwarven armor, armorer, is now holed through and through. The old dwarf is dying, but his eyes light up as he sees you. He coughs weakly. <coughs> you have come as prophesized, prof prophesized. You must destroy the fruits of my foolish alliance with the Dark One. Find the keys and travel through my workshop into Ermek's lair. Ferrofis collapses into a lifeless shell of a man, finally at peace. The dwarves take his body away to be buried in secret. A dwarf says, he scrawled this message on the wall. It may mean something, or it may not. Oh, this sounds like something I need to take special notes for. Where are my notes? Notes, BT3. Games, games, BT. 
three quests. Let's just go down to the bottom. Oh, how did he? I don't know. I guess they're just on the wall. Uh, bright hand, true hand. Thine are the months of six summers. Sinister hand, dark hand. Three plagues upon each finger. In opposition, you ward the lair of my foolish death. Okay, um, so there's long standing been a kind of weird idea that left hands are bad. So I assume this is left, and I assume this is right. Uh, hopefully, the months of summer are three, because if it's like a fantasy summer or something with like 19 months, I haven't heard anything about it. So that would mean that we have 18 on the right and three plagues upon each finger. So this, we could be very pedantic and say our left hand has four fingers, which would be 12, or we could count the thumb meaning 15. I think they're going to say 15. Um, you know, four or five fingers per hand. So, assumedly, we take our two keys, the right key and the left key, and we do the turn the right key 18 times or something, and then turn the left key 15 times. That's my belief. Um, I seem to remember last time I did this, I had some kind of nitpick. Maybe it was this nitpick. There was like something where I was like, I think that the answer they want is wrong. But in any event, uh, we found we found Pharaoh Fist, uh, which is what we were tasked to go here and do. It was like, go there and find Pharaoh Fist. He's still alive. Um, but uh, this time, I guess we got here only just too late, or only somewhat too late, not far, far too late. So we're gonna head on out of the private quarters. To over here. And get rid of the trap that I think is in front of us. And go over to this door. I think phase door is cheaper than recasting all spells. So I'm going to cut through. Uh, no, I don't know. Convert it, go away, please. Uh, and we're going to go through this door and see where we end up. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't change the name until you say so you don't like it don't update until you say you want to go don't want it so we're in the workshop so we were told to go to the workshop and use the keys and find our way to the spawn of his foolish something something with the dark one uh i don't know if there's going to be a local dark one like the obvious meaning of the dark one would be tarjan or some agent of Tarjan, but maybe we'll find out differently in the next time as we explore further into Canestia into the workshop. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.